Alright. Welcome to another Scavenge Lord loot video, and I'm so sorry that you have to see my face this time. I tried to avoid it. Really, I did. So, um, after you're done screaming, then we'll take a look at some stuff. I'd like to thank my friend Sally, who's playing our camera person today. And uh, the reason I'm appearing on video is because I can. For the first time, I'm not making this video by myself. Now, I only had a very brief uh, scavenging expedition this week. Because on Monday, I was scheduled to go into work two hours earlier than usual. But I got in an hour's worth of scavenging, and I found a few interesting things during that time. Now, starting with this thing. This is, I think, an exercise chair. Like this. Oh yeah, this is this is high That's production cool. value video right here. <laughs> but it is in outstanding condition. There are actually a few pieces of exercise equipment, but this is the one I was able to carry back with me. Adjustable for different resistances, and I'm actually thinking about keeping that one myself. I don't know. I would. Think about it a little more. All right, got a lot of clothes here. Now, uh, these are the clothes that don't fit me, uh, including this dog sweater. I tried, it wouldn't fit. <laughs> but most of these are simply too large. We've got an assortment of t shirts. Pretty nice winter jacket. Maybe just a really, really thick flannel shirt. These shirts. My friend Sally, uh, because she took so much stuff last week, I, you know, as I'm going through this, she's going to be calling from behind the camera. If she sees something she likes, she's going to call out. <laughs> she's going to keep it. These are way too big for me. Size 42 waist. And they come with a nice pair of suspenders. <laughs> was no women's clothes this week, but a lot of men's clothing. That's what happens when I only go out scavenging for an hour. Shirts. Shirt. Uh, this is similar to the one you already claimed, Sally. Yeah, but it's an extra large. I don't think that'll fit them. Okay. She's talking about a mutual friend of ours. And, yeah, these are as wide in the waist as yeah. the jeans, aren't they? Yeah. All right, there were a few things that I'm going to keep myself. Some nice, uh... That looks like you. Shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, augmenting my summer wardrobe here. There you go. That's a, actually a pretty cool looking shirt. It looks good with that t-shirt. So that looks like you too. Here. I've got a... Uh, set of sheets, uh, fitted and unfitted, that are... What size are they? I tried them on my bed upstairs, and whatever size my bed is, that's what these are. That really helps. <laughs> so, I'm probably going to keep these. I think that my okay. wife is going to hate them slightly less than the lime green uh. sheets that I brought into the house when we moved here. Okay. And this is a throw of some type of... Would you call this a baby blanket? Um, a sheet. Just a really small sheet. Yeah. Oh, well, it like folds for, even more. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. This is like a muslin material. Yeah. That's a nice material, actually. You want it? Sure. Okay. Sally claimed that. Now we're going to get take a look at the sparklies. This is just a trash can that was handy for carrying stuff home. And this looks like it came out of somebody's wedding leftovers. Oh. Lots and lots of rhinestones. I see. <laughs> you can hear the excitement in Sally's uh -huh. voice. Yes. And yes. hopefully the sparkles are going to pick up on camera. Uh. Because Sally makes costume jewelry and she can always make use of rhinestones. I got oh, yeah. one, two. Wow. Oh, they just keep coming. I see that. Three. Wow. Oh, this one is extra long. Cool. I'll take this. Okay. Is the camera still recording? Um, I think so. All right. Uh, 
pen That's holder, cool. a couple of small baskets, a, is this an album? And yep, this is a guest, guest book. Guest book, yeah. With no signatures in it, I don't know. If <laughs> I, I think someone was oh, going to get married. <laughs> oh, I'm not very nosy when picking through my neighbor's trash, but um, sometimes uh, you, there's no way to avoid speculating. Uh, you got a few more rhinestones right here. Cool. So, yeah, you, okay. could, you could actually resell all this stuff as a set. Yeah, I'll clean it up and see what I can do with it. I may. Oh, uh, that piece is broken, whatever it was. Yeah. I think that's a letter P with a few yep. more stones on it. And we have one, two, three, four candles. Uh, there were more, and they are over here already. I see. See this centerpiece? That's pretty. It holds three of the candles, so I guess I had seven candles all together. And I've got a lot of identical centerpieces to this. Cool. Uh, this entire box is full of them. I got another no, another three centerpieces. Oh, one fell out. Yeah. Over here. And we're going to do some unboxing. Oh boy. This is very exciting. I've only taken a peek inside this box right here. Oh, All right. Looks this like box of free stuff. Reveals uh, another centerpiece. That's, that's not the same thing. This looks more like a chandelier or something. And it's got a little bit of rust on it, too. Cool. But, okay. Or maybe these are just the parts of centerpieces and they got tangled together. That could these look be. like the candle holder sections. Yeah, that could be what it is. Ah, and here are the centerpieces. Right. Yeah, yeah we got, okay, so we got another three, three, three centerpieces three. here. Okay. Pretty awesome. Yeah, for free stuff. Yeah. I think that you could I possibly think, find a buyer for these in your little gift shop. I, I think I can definitely do something with it for sure. 